Hey everybody, it's Margaret with Texas Gal Treasures and I'm trying something new today. I want to try to give you a whole video but still be on screen so that you can see me talking about everything. A few of my friends have said, we see these videos of yours but we can never see you because I'm just talking behind the scenes. So I said, okay, I'll try it. I'll put myself up in the corner and talk about the things that I found. But first, I'm going to tell you I'm super duper excited because we're going to see my sister tomorrow. She lives in the hill country in Texas, in Kerrville, and so we're going out to visit her, and she's already scoped out some really cool thrift stores, and uh, it's a huge retirement community up there, so she's saying, you know, there's really lots of cool stuff, vintage, antiques, and so I'm pretty excited. We're gonna go and just check out some little towns along the way, and their little thrift stores, and maybe an estate sale or two, because we'll be there till Friday, so we'll see. All right, here I go. I'm going to try this out, put myself in the corner. Nobody puts Margaret in the corner, except for Margaret. There we go. Okay, oh, let's get back to the first picture. So here's my haul from this weekend. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, I went to this, I don't know, the weather was so weird. It, if you live in Texas, you'll, you know it's been really rainy. And so it cleared up this weekend long enough for nice garage sale weather on Saturday morning. But it was super duper foggy. Uh, so I went out and found a number of good garage sales, but it was it was eerie. There were not very many people out looking. And, and if you know the area, or I guess pretty much anywhere, garage sales just get swamped. So I thought, oh boy, it's already 8 o'clock. I try to get out by 7.30 when I go to garage sales because the early bird gets the worm, right? So I went and, I mean, the first garage sale, gold mine. Second garage sale, gold mine. I called my husband and said, I may only go to a couple more garage sales because I found some gems and just in the first two. All right, so here we go. This first picture, uh, a lady sold me all of this jewelry for $10. So as you can see, we've got, this is just sort of like a costume jewelry piece, but it's really pretty, you know, blue and green beads. Uh, and this one I think is agate it's really heavy and the stones are really cool looking um i'm not sure i'll have to do some more research but then this we've got some nice pieces of amber that's amber with sterling silver and then three amber earrings and they're vintage i mean the fixings are the attachments what do you call them where they connect are really really different they're really cool uh so all three of those amber with sterling silver and then these this one I believe is lapis. It's definitely sterling. Um, my mom was not sure about it being lapis because it was pretty uniform in color, but so I'll have to check it out a little better. And then this one she said for sure was lapis uh, and it's wrapped in gold wire. And I'm going to have to check the purity, pull out my gold testing kit and test the purity on that one. Uh, and then this is a nice piece of turquoise in sterling silver. And I wish I had it flipped over so you could see the back, the fixing. Um, I need to learn the word for that. It's not fixings. <laughs> the attachment where you put it on the necklace is really vintage and cool looking. Now these ones, they're, I don't think they're gold at all because the post is not gold, but they're not magnetic either. So I might test them. I don't know. I don't think they're real. And then these ones, they don't have a marking on them, but they're really heavy, silver, gold, and have this neat little black stone on top. No markings, but I'll test them. They're not, none of it was magnetic, so it, it you know, leads me to want to go test it. And then cool, you know, pearl, black pearl necklace, which I don't think are real again either, but it's got this cool clasp in the front. And I guess it probably had different little dangly pendants that would hang off of it. I don't know. And then this was a vintage Whiting and Davis uh, costume jewelry bracelet, which was really nice. So, I mean, all together here, I mean, 10 bucks. And this piece alone, I can probably get 154, maybe more. I'm going to do a little more research. So, I mean, well over $200 there for 10 bucks. So, let's do this one. You can see a little bit closer. Yeah, the earrings, the amber earrings will probably go between 40 and 50 bucks, depending on size. This one probably for sure at least $50. Again, here if this with this lapis. Um, just nice. It was a nice, nice haul. 
And here we go. Texas A&M, Pewter Stein, right? Gigamags. My brother's an Aggie, so sorry. My mom went to UT if it makes you feel any better. Uh, core, Core Cadets um, Pewter Mug. So Aggies love their Aggie memorabilia. So I paid, oh gosh, I think $4 for this. Uh, and I'll have to do a little more research, but I think, I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Here again, um, you can see what I paid for them. 25 cents for these. And there's a marking on them. I guess I'll, i got to flip them over. Um, because some Native American jewelry is signed by the artist. And this one has got a marking on it. And uh, so I need to look it up and figure out how to, I don't know, find out who, who made it. Maybe uh, their tribe. Again, another pair of sterling silver earrings. And then this necklace... Uh, was not magnetic either. It's gold plated probably. Um, this was really handy. I don't know if you saw my video with my garage sale bag. So I have my garage sale bag and they had this big tub full of jewelry. Just, I mean, it, and some of it looked like this, some of it looked like this. And so I just took my magnet and just kind of poked around in there. And if it was magnetic, I pulled it off and kept going. And anything that didn't stick to the magnet, I set it to the side and these were the winners, so we'll see. And even if, you know, I, I may not, if it's, doesn't it be in gold, maybe I'll sell it, maybe I'll put it, you know, I, I keep a little baggie with broken sterling jewelry and broken bits of gold jewelry that when the baggie gets big enough, you can figure out how to sell it, take it to sell. So a dollar for all of that, that's pretty nice. And, <laughs> oh, you're upside down. Let's turn you around, there we go. So here we have a Fisher Space Pen, and two dollars as you can see. I'm gonna come back in here and type, put in on the bottom how much they go for online. Uh, but this is one of those pens that you can supposedly write upside down. And I remember when there was the, the big to do about how cool this was when they came out. When was it, the 80s or 90s or something? And I remember the Russians were like, what is the big deal? Get a pencil, you know? Eh, yeah. <laughs> But we have a pen that can write upside down. This is the important thing. Technology, right? All right. So, <laughs> oh, oops, I skipped some stuff. So here, oh, this was the first garage sale I went to. Check this out. And I think the guy was Italian. So it kind of makes me lean towards, I'm not, yeah, Italian. So this is an, a leather skull cap. And at first I thought it was aviator, but it's got this brim on it. So it makes me think it's maybe more motorcycle and then these really cool I mean that rubber on them is a heavy duty glass uh, lenses in there this is really cool the insides kind of eaten up here you can see a little bit moth eaten but look at the snaps this is one of the snaps and then the little ear flaps have mesh over the little ear holes I think that's so cool and honestly I'm just I'm gonna have to do some more research because I just don't know what I'm gonna sell this for I mean, I've seen some online that were like 25 bucks or like, man, there's no way. This thing is way too cool to sell for 25 bucks. I'll keep it before I sell it for 25 bucks. And my boys have been begging to play with these goggles, but they're mommies. And then a Motley Crue uh, baseball cap. And this is one of the trucker type that has the mesh in the back, 50 cents. And uh, again, I'll have to look that up, see how much that one's worth. This... <laughs> Are the Fry Guys? They're not around anymore. But uh, these are the McDonald's Fry Guys, and this was a promotional. I guess were one of the toys, an inflatable little uh, sailboat. And uh, the lady just gave it to me. You know, I said, "Oh my gosh, this is so cool!" Can you know how much? She said, "Take it." So I said, "Yes, ma'am." And uh, same lady had this Astrodome uh, booklet, and these are actually selling for a pretty penny online. Uh, I'll have to look that back up and put it at the bottom, but I bought this for $2, um, and they're still trying to figure out what to do with the Astrodome, you know, they're going to tear it down or make it into an indoor park, uh, but uh, it's legendary in Houston, the eighth wonder of the world, people, and same lady from the Astrodome booklet, she, I got these for a steal, these two Tarzan, she had some other old books, but I wanted to go with titles that I knew, and so this one says five and this one says three or four on it, but she gave me both of them for $4. So it was amazing, an amazing deal. And uh, I looked those up and again, I'll, I'll put the prices on the bottom. 
<sighs> it was a really good day. And so this, the guy that had the German skull cap and the, not German, Italian. Uh, so this is where I got the next couple of things. These are still in the, in the packaging. This uh, airplane model. I got three of them still in the in the box. Deal, three dollars, two dollars. This one, the lady's son was saying, "Oh, I don't think all the pieces are in there." And so she said, "Well, get that out of there. Go throw it in the trash." And I said, "Do not throw that in the trash. Give it to me." I said, "I'll buy it." And she said, "I'm not going to charge you for something that all the pieces are not probably there." And I got it home and opened it up, and most of the pieces were still connected to the little plastic ring where they you have to pop them out and there were two pieces that were popped out and they were in there huh I said, okay uh, so I'll still look through the pamphlet and make sure all the the bits are there but they were just gonna throw it in the trash no 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 uh, and here's the other this was a big one um I think I I think I spent 25 bucks at that lady's house so and then this was what made me think the guy was Italian he had this Italian a rector set and I couldn't find one exactly like it I even looked on eBay Italy and found some that were made by the same company I brought it home and my husband had opened up and started playing with it right away and the little batteries and all the gears were still working and yeah I don't know so again look that one up I can't think what I spent on that one four bucks five bucks not a lot and then you know how I feel about children's books uh, I picked up these Dr. Seuss, look at this, 10 cents, 25 cents. We have some of these. I'm going to take some up to my sister to give to her son. Uh, but still, you can sell them, resell them, or keep them, whatever. And then some more vintage books. This one's seen, seen better days. And this one over here, the cover is gone, but the illustrations are amazing. And so some people take those illustrations and do crafts and things with them. So it might end up on Etsy um, for a craft Crafter, my boys love Garfield. And then let's see what else we have here. Horton Hatches the Egg and Richard Scary. This is a nice big uh, vintage one. And this next one my boys wanted to keep, so that won't be for sale. Dragon World. More kids books. And then these were in a bag. This lady had a bag, like a little plastic backpack full of home readers. If you have kids, you know what I'm talking about. Leveled readers to help kids learn leveled. And these were stuffed in there, and I thought, oh, my boys don't really care about horses and little girls and things like that. So they're comic books. They're like a type of comic book. So I looked them up on Amazon, and some of them are selling for, you know, a couple bucks. But one of them was like $10 on Amazon. So I may look and see if they're numbered. If I do like a bundle, oh, I do see number seven, three. Uh, so I might, I might try bundling them. I haven't done a bundle before and ask, you know, a little bit for those. What have we next? Calvin and Hobbes. I already have this one, so that one will be for, for sale. And this one I don't have, so we're keeping it. And then the last one is this Lego Minotaur game. And I've never found a Lego game that had all the pieces and the booklets and everything. And this had it all, all together. Now, the only problem is getting it away from the boys because they want to keep it. So... Anyway, so this was my amazing haul this weekend. I spent $45 total for everything. I, I just can't believe it. It was amazing. Uh, anyway, so thanks for watching. And when we and I get back from Kerrville, hopefully I'll have an awesome haul to show you. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. So anyway, like me down below, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Let me know you're watching. And as always, you can find me on Facebook at Texas Gal Treasures. And I will talk to you later.